So during the procedure, we're going to use a bone graft material. The bone graft material comes in a box like this, and this is actually donor tissue, which means it's coming from a human. It's very safe, and it has been irradiated or sterilized so that the patients can use it. It's also been tested for a number of different diseases so that we know that this won't transfer anything to the patient. Um, there's only been a few cases re reported on actually transferring any kind of disease to a patient. It's extremely rare. And so the bone comes in a little vial like this. It's just almost like a, looks like dried grits in my opinion, and it comes in a particulate, okay? So this gets mixed up with the stem cells from your blood, which is called PRF or PRP. We make a sticky bone from that, that becomes like a putty. And then over that, now we have to use something to cover the bone because we wanna keep the bone in place. And so this is a membrane. It is a collagen membrane. It's made out of collagen and that gets placed over the bone, but underneath your skin, okay? The sutures are tacked into place, or sometimes we use things called tenting screws, which we can show you at a later date. And those hold the position of the bone and the membrane. This specific membrane will dissolve on its own and can take over a year to dissolve, but it then turns into bone. The bone graft material, on the other hand, we don't want it to dissolve. And so sometimes we'll even mix it with xenograft which means bone from another animal, such as a cow, for example. And that's a really great bone to use because it holds the space. So now we have the bone graft, we mix it with the PRF, with the, which is coming from your own body, and then the membrane. Over that goes the sutures, and then you're off and away.